breaking news. Buhari favored Namdi Kano, stopped government from eliminating him. Femi Adesina. Or I know say uh, um, when things begin to happen like this, uh, when things begin to unfold, to some people, even uh, when uh, this thing, uh, this uh, uh, what they call it, this headline touched down, everybody was clapping for him. They were even praising Buhari. Oh, thank God he didn't eliminate uh, Nam the Kano. Thank God he didn't. Do, thank God he didn't do that. But you, that is congratulating him. Do you know what it takes them to come out now? This one is opposite of it because. Nam the Kano, we all know, have passed series of us attempting to murder him, attempting to poison him, attempting to kill him. From Kenya, they tortured him for good seven days, blindfolded like common criminal. Did everything they could to buy that young man there. They don't want to use gun because when they use gun, people will know. They, they, I mean, they subject him to all manner of inhuman treatment. The young man refused to die. After seven days, they brought him back to Nigeria. In the DSS uh, department, where Mazen Namdekano is staying now, that uh, dungeon called solitary confinement, he, was, he once uh, cried out, uh, I think uh, last year, about a gadget they put inside uh, the AC of his cell. Each time the AC is blowing, that gadget is making him to feel tired. He cried out. That these people are really snuff, snuffing, snuffing life out of me inside here. That there's a gadget inside that is he cried before the lawyers could be able to do the do that. But to my greater surprisation, no news was had again after the crying. Whether they removed that gadget or they didn't remove the gadget, nobody told us. So this one now that the former adjustment is coming, is coming here now to, to, to vomit nonsense. It's just to let you know that they tried to buy Mazen Nam the Kano, but he refused. This one is an op open confession. But shamelessly, this man put it on the book he wrote, launched the other day in Abuja. On the book he wrote uh, about uh, his, uh, his uh, pay master, uh, Muhammad Buhari. Nigerians, the politicians, all their supporters, everything that has to do with Nigeria have lost it or they, they have no single shame again. Imagine Femi Adesion, a speaker, I mean, a, whether a special advisor in BRB, a, 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 a spokesperson for uh, Muhammad Buhari, coming out now to let us know how many times they tried to eliminate Mazen Nam de Kano, but it didn't work. So now he turned it upside down now to tell us that Buhari... Buhari favored Mazen Nam Dekano. In what way, please, can you tell us that they want to eliminate him or you try to eliminate him, he refused to die? <laughs> you that is watching me, you that is hearing my voice, I know you have something to say. Please, I will continue with the news. Let us argue, argue it at the comment section. Drop whatever you, uh, whatever you have concerning this matter, concerning this headline, at the comment section. I will come back. We are going to trash it. We are going to... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 expansiate the, 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 the lines one after the other. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel as we are about to read the Mumunese of the so-called Geological Republic of Nigeria. Spokesperson will be Femi Adesona. Femi Adesona, a former spokesman to the ex-president Mahmoud Buhari, has disclosed that the president stopped the elimination of Manzit Nam Kano leader of the digital people of Biafra, IPOP, from his hideout. Adesana said that then the, the then government will have eliminated Kano, but Buhari prevented such a move. This was contained in Adesana's book, Reflection of a Special Advisor, Media and Publicity, 215 to 2023, which was launched in Abuja last week. He said Buhari did uh, Kano a favor by allowing his extradition to Nigeria. Here am they planned to kill Mazen Nam Dekano. Adesana said, the former president disclosed this during his uh, meeting with uh, some Igbo delegations under the urges of highly respected Igbo grace. That's, they are not Igbos. They are only but fools that answered Igbos. So please, when you want to talk to Igbos, just say the Biafrans. He quoted Buhari as telling the delegation, in the past six years, 
I have developed a system wherein which I don't interfere with the judiciary. But when the judiciary said so, what happened? That was why, in case of a canon, I said the best was to subject him to the system. Let him make his case in court instead of giving a terrible impression of the country from outside. I feel it is a favor to give him kind of that opportunity. Government could have mobilized to eliminate him where he was, but we did not do that. I see you people have not tried to eliminate him in a in a in UK. <laughs> In June of 2021, Card was subjected to extraordinary rendition from Kenya to continue his trial for terrorism. This followed the decision of the IPOB leader to breach his bail conditions and escape from Nigeria. And the so called uh, additional could not even put in his book how much Nam the Kano has was raided. They, they call it Operator Python Dance, just to eliminate the young man. <laughs> and he failed. Now they come out now to tell you if you want to eliminate Mazen Nam the Kano, you would have done that. They attempted on his on his on his life in a, his uh, father's uh, home in Afari Ubeku, Afari Ubeku in 2017. I beg who do that? I mean, Abia France, now they invaded Mazen Nam the Kano's home. These people have loved us all manner of shame. They have no single shame. No single shame whatsoever. And I weep for this country. I weep for that contraption of a country called Nigeria. I weep for them. No single shame you came out openly to, to confess. If Nigeria is a country that is working, you and Buhari will have become and explain what do you mean by this. How can you say uh, Buhari favored Martin and the Colonel after kidnapping him from Kenya? Because you have tried to eliminate him, he couldn't do that. You went all the way to Kenya to kidnap him, and now you are coming down there to tell us rubbish. Use, useless set of people. No, good, I go kill all of you now. Police don't deny a detaining activist on instruction of a make for in Anambra stage. This one, Naturu Matao, a make for don't, don't, don't give orders. Say, made them detain the activist because not the rich. That is how they subdue the poor. No more freedom of speech. In Nigeria, they say there is freedom of speech. But freedom after speech is what is not guaranteed. And that is what kept, what keep happening every now and then. The Anambra State Police Commander has denied rumors that an activist Mr. Boni Okongwo is being detained on the order of top business mogul and philanthropist Sa Meko for Okongwo, an indigenous of Orifite in the Ekusigo local government area of, uh, of uh, Anambra State, was said to have been arrested after a petition against him. He was said to have published the matter that a matter that a meter manufacturing company situated in Orifite and touted. To the own by offer was an empty warehouse meant to scam the federal government. In a statement by the state police, public relations officer PPRO Tochukui Kenga, he accused Okonkwo's lawyer of misinforming the public. He said the suspect was arrested and detained for criminal defamation. Ikenga said, Anambra State Police Command wishes to advise the leading public to disregard the misinformation being peddled by the councils to one Boni Okonkwo. Okonkwo is a criminal suspect who was arrested and detained for criminal defamation. The allegation that he was arrested at the instigation of a Emeka Ofo is pedestrian. The police need not to instigate to do its job. In this country, Nigeria, in this present day, where the, 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 the rich are doing everything humanly possible to subdue and snuff life out of the poor, uh, the, 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 the poor ones. A citizen against whom a crime is committed has the right to complain to appropriate authorities and the police is mandated by the constitution to investigate such crime. Due process was followed in the arrest and detention of the offender for thorough investigation. Even while in detention, he persisted in his crime through the use of an electronic device until he was properly searched and detained the use of the gadget. His detention was on the order of the court. It is therefore both legal and proper. He added that the command will never infringe on the rights of the citizens on the instig instigation of a private individual. My wonderful people, me, I go back break here, or I go hear my voice again when I come back. Please let me know what you think at the comment section. If you like this video, share, comment. Make sure you keep subscribing to my channel. So that you're going to get more of these videos coming your way on daily basis. Have a nice day. And may the good Lord continue to bless us all.
Bye for now. Que en ese año.